Isaiah chapter 29, verse 6, and it reads, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, next double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for bear another reason why, more reasons why. Another reason why, more reasons why we, sh we should fear the God of the Bible. Ain't no need to acting tough. Ain't no need to acting bad. Ain't no who's bad. Ain't no need to acting like a thug. Ain't no need to acting like a boss B. Are we not reading these scriptures? You saw that storm that just came up through Florida, right? The Lord was the, was the hand behind it. It truly is a fearful thing. The Lord can turn them lights off. The Lord can have that, have that flood come through your neighborhood. The Lord said, look, look, the Lord said, I look, I'm behind the flames of devouring fire. See these forest fires? The Lord said, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm the one that's orchestrating these volcanoes too. The bad times, the good times, this happening upon the face of earth, peace. It's all being controlled by the God of the Bible. That's why it's a fearful thing to fall into his hands as it truly is. Isaiah chapter 29 verse 6. Thou shall be visited by the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who you equally call God and Jesus, right? With thunder, the thunderstorm. We got to keep reminding our people who's orchestrating these things. It's not mother nature. Stop giving everything. That, that woman worship nonsense. Stop giving credit to the damn woman. It's the Lord doing all these things. That's why we must fear. And it's a fearful thing. The Lord, every day, I'm thinking about that scripture, that Hebrews 10, 31. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder. And with earthquake, the Lord's controlling the earthquakes too. If you, if you see an earthquake happen on the face of the earth, guess who's behind it? The Lord. The Lord is behind the earthquakes, man. And I'm multitasking, so just bear with me. And great noise with storm and tempest. A regular storm and a tempest is a major storm. And the flame of devouring fire. Did the fire, your house catch on fire? Guess who's, guess who's the mastermind behind it? The Lord. And I, I, want, I want to get that since the Lord got me quoting it. I want to get that. Quick little lesson on just fearing the God of the Bible. More reasons why. More reasons why. The Lord controls if we got a roof over our head. People don't understand that yet. That's like That concept is like mind-boggling to the majority of these people on the face of the earth. Mainly you Israelites. Hebrews chapter 10. If you got a dollar in your pocket, you better thank the Lord. <laughs> You got a roof over your head, you better thank the Lord. Because he, he does all that. And I'm, I'm going to get that too. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31, Lord's will. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31, because I'm pressed for time, getting a late start. About to head out, Lord willing, get this daily bread. And, and Abaratazah Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, protects the whole for elect throughout this day, man. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31, it is a fearful thing. To fall into the hands of the living power, especially when, when the power is controlling the earthquakes, controlling the storms, controlling the fires, controlling every aspect of your life. And, we, and we'll get that. And the Lord's getting ready to burn this place, too. Now, as a matter of fact, before I even get that, let's just get this. Can he, uh, the Lord don't even want me to roll past. Let's just get this. Second Chronicles chapter 15. Back, look, look, um, what, uh, um, back to the BTTB. Back to the basics, man. Let's get all oh, yeah, right here. Right here. Second Chronicles chapter 15, verse 13. And it reads that whosoever, that whosoever represents you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, right? That whosoever will not seek the Lord power of Israel, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, not God and Christ blessed, not Buddha, not Allah, not the Hindu God of Shiva, not money, cars, clothes, and H to the damn Isos. 
The Israelites that are not seeking the God of the Bible should be put to death, man. Whether small or great, whether man or woman, because the Lord don't care nothing about no status. The Lord commands all Israel to fear. The Lord don't care nothing about no status. People still trying trying to get a name for themselves. Still talking about status, my status, my net worth. I'm worth this. I got this. I got that. The Lord don't give a damn about that. You see? You don't care nothing about that. Wrath is coming. Judgment. We're in the midst of judgment. Judgment. We're in the midst of judgment, man. Let's get this. It's all something quick. More reasons why we should fear the God of the Bible. Deuteronomy 32, 39. And it reads, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. So it ain't worth a damn to try to call on Buddha, Allah, uh, um, Jeebus, and all this other nonsense. Lord said, they, they ain't up there with me, counseling with me. They ain't up there. You keep thinking they up there. They ain't up there, Israel. Right? It says, I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So it's the Lord that wounds us. It's the Lord that heals us. It's the Lord that will delete you. It's the Lord that keeps us alive. And look, look, everything in one scripture. The Lord showing you he controls everything in just that one scripture alone. He got spirits that are created for vengeance that will get at you. Went into that a little bit um, last night. And even Joshua said, look, look, if it, if it seemed evil to serve the Lord, then choose you this day who you going to serve. Just who, pick somebody. <laughs> the Lord like, Yo, oh, oh, you don't want to serve me? Just pick somebody then. Job 28. And this is going to be something quick. I got to get ready to head out, man. Like I said, we're getting a late start. Just wanted to throw something out there for the whole for that. Because we're here to prophesy. We're here to tell you what's going to happen before it even happened. The Israelites are not seeking the Lord. I read 2 Chronicles chapter 15, verse 13. You out of here, soon come. You are out of here, soon come. And, and bear with me. Job chapter 28, verse 28. And it reads, And unto man, the Israelite man, woman, and child, he said, Behold, which means to look. look the Lord like, yo, look. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Look, that is wisdom. That is wisdom, Israel. And to depart from evil is understanding. So once again, you can tell when a so-called Negro, Latino, or Native American has the wisdom of the Lord. Because they're walking around with the fear of the Lord. Yet, yeah, Look, yes, there is. Yes, there is. They walk around with the fear of the Lord because we all know it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. I, I just read that. I know, I know we ain't forget that that quick. And, then, and, I, and I always bring it to the Lord. All have me revert right back to the scripture right here because it's, it's real. So Rock chapter 11. You, you, it's like you can forget all you want to. <laughs> no, you, you can forget. You can forget what the whole duty of man is, is to fear the Lord. Scripture say the whole duty of man is to fear the Lord. Sirach chapter 11, verse 14. And if I have to get that, I will. Sirach chapter 11, also known as Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 14, and the Apocrypha. And it reads, prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of the Lord. That's pretty much every aspect of our life, of our lives. This scripture right here is pretty much every aspect of our lives. If you got a roof over your head, you got some money. That's pro and life is pretty grand. That's prosperity. Adversity, you catching a prayer hell. That's being controlled by the Lord. Life, that's being controlled by the Lord. Death, that's being controlled by the Lord. Poverty, that's being controlled by the Lord. You got money, your little riches, that's being controlled by the Lord. Come of the Lord. And you, you ain't getting, that's plain right there. Everybody bragging about their accolades and what college they went to and all this then and third. The Lord did everything for you. When you Israelites gonna get the Lord credit for everything, you trying to take the credit for everything. Don't get the Lord credit for nothing. And the Lord says, as a matter of fact, I says I'm right here in Baruch. Let's just get it. This is something quick too, man, for the whole for elect of the nation of Israel. Seek the Lord, fear the Lord, seek the Lord, man. The Lord made good on his word. The Lord said, look, you want to be, you want to rebel? You want to be hard-headed? All right, I'm going to throw your black and brown asses head first into captivity. And now we're here. Baruch chapter 4, verse 28, and it reads, For as it was your mind to go astray from the heavenly Father, 
Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, so be in return, seek him 10 times more. Our people are supposed to be searching for the Lord. They're searching for fortune and fame. Our people ain't thinking about the Lord. Only time they're going to be thinking about the Lord is when, is when all hell break loose and they ain't got nothing to eat. That's the only time our people are going to be trying to seek the Lord when they ain't got nothing to eat, when the lights get cut off. It's, it's, it's sad. It's sad, but it's true. Only time our people think about the Lord is when that when that stomach touched the back. That, that's it. See, we know that we know the terror of the Lord. I might as well get this. The Lord's got us got us making video after video, video after video, video after video. Second um Corinthians chapter five. Matter of fact, I might as well, I might as well go to ten. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai. And then you got some guys, some of them, they don't worship Yahweh Shai. Do you not know he's controlling the judgment seat? He was given all the power. The Heavenly Father gave him all the power, gave him the judgment seat. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai. So when you stand in front of Lord Yahweh Shai, and he's getting ready to judge you for everything that you did wrong on the face of the earth. You're going, you're going to still say you don't want to bow to him. You're going to still say, um, I only worship him in context. Are you, you sure you're going to say that? You're going to be standing in front of the, in front of the kings of kings, the Lord of lords. He's going to have them fiery red eyes. He's going to be pissed off. You mean to tell me you still going to tell him that, hey, look, he, he look, he, boy, you ninjas, you ninjas is. This thing. Ninja, these ninjas don't be thinking. They just say anything. They don't think. These ninjas just say. They don't think before they speak. You're going to have to stand. All of us are going to have to stand in front of Lord Yahweh Shai real soon. That everyone may receive the things done in his body. According to that he or she have done. Whether it be good or bad. All right. This, this, this is uh, just read the scripture. I'm getting nervous. I'm getting nervous just reading this scripture. That's why we're constantly praying that Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh have mercy on us and forgive us for all our wrongful thoughts, sins, and doings in this life and our former lives, right? Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. We threaten you with these words. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, right? Let's see. It says, um, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto the heavenly father. And I trust also are made manifest in your conscience. It, 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 shit hitting the fan. Shit hitting the fan. I, I don't want to get, I'm pressed for time, man. Like I said before, I'm getting a late start. I just want to throw something out there. A constantly reminder. A constantly reminder of who we need to fear, who we need to worship. You don't worship, you don't worship a piece of wood. You don't worship a piece of rock. You don't worship your car. You got people out here worshiping their cars. You got people out here worshiping women. Now we worship the Heavenly Father through His only begotten Son. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. I should have started at 1. Read verse 1. It says, Remember now, not later. Remember now thy Creator in the days of thy youth while the evil days come not before the Lord really turn up. Seek the Lord now before you really turn up, before you make this devil, make that seek hip. That um, I got a speaking code at M O T to the B B B. Seek the Lord before He had His devil make it mandatory. And the only way you're gonna be able to eat is to have that digital device. Seek the Lord now. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, and keep His commandments. We rehearse them to the best of our ability, for this is the whole duty of man. Because remember, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living. I, I wish I could make this longer, but I'm pressed for time is, and, and I got the role. I, I really do got the role. Let, let, let's see something right quick. See if I can sneak a couple in there right quick. Let's see. I remember. Uh, go read Isaiah 40. Matter of fact, matter of fact I get it. I get it. Israel ain't going to get it. I get it. Our people ain't going to get that. Our people don't even read the Bible. Uh, the Israelites don't even believe in the Bible. They believe in Kamalot. You know what I'm saying? They believe in um, Donald Duck. They believe in Sleepy Joe, Fire Marshal Bill. They be, they're just crazy. You, you ninjas are gone too. Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus, do all these things. But ain't nobody paying attention to the down here that. 
Our people don't hear that when, when a scripture like that come out. Our people ain't thinking about the Lord. A couple of quick ones. Psalms 34 and 9. Oh, oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, which are the Israelites, for there is no one to them that fear him. Are we not hearing this? That you're going to be protected. You fear the Lord, you're going to have something to eat. There's no one to those that fear the Lord. The Lord going to take care of you. The Israelites that fear the Lord, he going to take care of you. Luke 12. Five, but I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. Fear him, which after he have deleted, killed, have power to cast into hell, which is a condition played out on earth, slavery. You know what I'm saying? Yea, I say unto you, fear him. The Lord can delete you, bring you back in another body that's paraplegic, bring you back in another body that's blind, bring you back in another body with no hands, with no legs, man. All right? Just head and shoulders. Just head and shoulders. Fear him, right? Let's, let's see what else, because I got to get rid of the roll. Psalms 22, 23. Ye that fear the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shah, praise him. All ye the seed of Jacob, glorify him and fear him. All ye the seed of Israel. See how many times fear is in that scripture? See how many times fear is in that scripture? Psalms 115 to 13. He will bless them that fear the Lord. Both small and great He will bless those You're going to be highly favored If you fear the Lord That's what blessed goes into highly, Being highly favored He will bless them that fear the Lord Both small and great Proverbs 3 and 7 This will be my last one Be not wise in thine own eyes Fear the Lord and depart from evil And I can keep going and going and going and going Put down the pride, Israel, and fear the Lord. Look, look, he, he, he says, uh, matter of fact, one more. One more than I most definitely got to roll. I got to roll. I got to fly out this door so fast. Let's get this. Malachi chapter 4, verse 1, and it reads, For behold, the day coming. Remember, the Lord controls the good and the bad, right? For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven when the missiles hit Babylon the great. And all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. Are we not reading this? And the day that cometh shall burn them up. That nuclear holocaust, right? Said the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies. Here we go again. Not a nice guy. That it shall leave them neither root nor branch. But unto you that fear my name. Here we go. But unto you that fear my name. So that name is most definitely important. But but unto you that fear my name. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Shall the son of righteousness. Lord Yahweh Shai. Who they even call Jesus. Shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. When he pull up in the chariots, the spaceships. You know what I'm saying? which eagerly call UFOs, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the star. So just something quick on just fearing the Lord. So like I had to rush through it. Just wanted to get something in before I left the house. Lord, one of the hopeful elect is edified. Fear, 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 fear. Shalom.